Great. Well, thanks for joining for the first demo call. Um, I see that uh, Huang Wen has already put some things on the agenda for today. Yes. All yours. Uh, so, uh, okay. I will share my screen. Oh, wait. Uh, where is it? Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Uh, so, um, in the our current uh, project, I have finished the implementation of the psychic routing goons and the uh, merge request already merged into master and right now it's already deploying to staging. I'm watching the deploy and uh, to see what's uh, going on. So basically after the deploy, everything is stayed the same and uh, uh, nothing changed. So if we work on something like the uh, base worker or something, uh, it still be it's still scheduled into the base uh, skill. Okay, and psychic. Yes, and it's still scheduled into the space skill. And uh, to enable the routing goons, we have to put that into the GitLab.yaml file. And uh, if we change something like uh, the worker name to the queue, like hello queue, and we restart again. Okay, here we go again. And right now, after we reschedule, it will call, go into the, um, the hello queue. And if we put the uh, white card here and put everything inside, it is the exactly what is the uh, current production uh, configuration look like. And we still have, um, like we will replicate everything in direction unless that we have to put on the queue name into node. And if we put the queue name to known, it will be exactly what the uh, queue name look like right now, which is it will, uh, the job will schedule into the name generated by the worker name. And uh, it is what we want. And after we put the configuration into the omnibus and the uh, Kubernetes chart, and uh, we still have the current name configurations, and we can try to schedule something like the uh, particular worker into a particular queue, which is the default. And if we test with some worker and it works quite well, we continue to burn out with the horn catch on, which is the white card here right uh, at the bottom. And just that's it. They were much faster than I thought it would. Just to clarify, null means the worker name. Uh, and uh, the sorry. press. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah, so just to clarify, the null means do the old thing. Right. Mm, the the norm means that it will fall back to the current mechanism, which is the queue name generated by the worker name. Yeah, and the configuration you just showed is where we want to end up um, after the project. Uh, yes. After we uh, finish the uh, deployment, we want to put the configuration into uh, what um, omnibus. Uh, chef and uh, the Kubernetes chat, and after that, on the queue will be known. It means that it will everything will stay the same, and we are really defensive to try out each root run out to each worker. Yeah, yeah that was going to be my that that's that was going to be my next question. Like, how do we plan to roll this out? We're not going to drop everything on default just like that. So yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, and thankfully our uh, merge request related to the worker name Redicate is already deployed. It means that we can try out as soon as the chance in Omnibus and KTMS, uh, uh, I mean, community chat is ready, I think. I don't have anything to show right now. Like I want, like I forgot that it was an hour earlier, so I didn't finish my error budget displaying thing. <laughs> no worries. I've been trying to put the um, the meeting at different times to encourage different peeps of different groups of people to to join in. Um, yeah. So for some people, it was a bit of a surprise that it was an hour earlier, and for others. Um, it's a surprise that there's one in the evening. So 
well in the in the UC, UTC evening. I uh, I might be able to join the one tonight as well, depending on how easy film is tonight. How things go. No, that's fine. Like it, I'm trying to just find um, different ways of uh, of trying to get the demo to join different people together. So they'll the times will probably fluctuate for the next couple of weeks until we find something that works. Or we keep them fluctuating, like. But that's maybe a lot of work for you to do. But like having it's them fluctuating all the time makes it like it's going to always be different people then. That is true. I mean, it's, it only takes um, a couple of minutes on a Monday morning to decide when when I should book them. Um, yeah, unfortunately, also overlapping with the delivery demo this morning uh, didn't help uh, either. So, but, um, cool. Well, um, thanks, Huangmin, for showing us that. I'm glad to see that it's nearly there. Um, I'm I'm just yeah. keen to see that this is all moving forward. So. Um, but uh, thank you so much for, for both joining in. I'll still put the recording up and uh, hope you have a productive rest of your day. Yeah, thank you. Cool. It is the fastest remote con ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just 10 minutes and it's done then. <laughs> sometimes it's 10 minutes, sometimes it's, it's an hour and 10 minutes. It's always different. I also, I also think, Kuang Min, you cheated because you prepared. This, was, this went too smooth. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really wanted to do more the chance in Omnibus with Love as well, but I realized that it's one hour early, so I'm not just ready for that. <laughs> Did you, like, is the change for the configuration already merged to Omnibus? Uh, no, not yet. It's still in draft, and I'm getting it to be ready, although I'm not quite soon about the process of deploy that change. I mean, it changed a lot since the uh, last time I touched, like I have to create uh, an issue in the QI uh, bar as well. So I'm not sure what it is. So yeah, I have to look it out. I don't know, but have you already uh, been able, like have you already packaged to change up and tried it out on a, on a VM somewhere for yourself? Uh, yes, yes, it worked cool. quite well, I think. <laughs> cool, uh, should demo that next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you both. See you later. Bye. Bye.